All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. He is back as well. It is Traven Howard uh, signing a deal with the Rams, a one-year deal after clearing waivers. Uh, look, I was not really sure where this was going to go. I kind of had a, you know the vibe that he would be back, but only if he didn't get claimed. And I'm not going to lie to you folks, I'm a little surprised that Traven Howard, a guy with that athleticism, that skill set, and that experience, and not just that experience, but that production on the grandest stage of them all in the Super Bowl, in the NFC title game, I was very surprised he didn't get claimed. Uh, before we get into it, be sure to uh, subscribe, like, and comment. It really does help out the channel. Um, but yeah, diving in. What do I think about this? What do I think about Traven Howard coming back on a cheaper deal? Well, I think first off, uh, we did hear what Kevin Demoff had to say about you know Odell Beckham Jr. I'm sure uh, some of this you know decision to move on from Traven Howard's original deal, which was a little bit over two million per one year, uh, had to do with that. I think obviously they're trying to find any bit of money they can to offer Odell, who seems to be the last key here, uh, you know, or last piece rather to the puzzle. Uh, looking at you know, what Traven Howard does. I mean, he gives you a third linebacker option. So now that he's back, he is your third guy behind Ernest Jones and Bobby Wagner. Initially, when they released him, you know, I was thinking, okay, Jake Hummel's going to get an opportunity, Christian Roseboom, you have Taylor Rapp, Terrell Burgess, those guys. So I think the Rams are fine either way, but they're a lot better uh, with Traven Howard, I think, at the linebacker spot. This is somebody that is a former safety out of TCU turned linebacker. You love to see guys that were drafted by the Rams stick around. And this is a guy that's, you know, stuck around past his, uh, you know, draft value. I mean, you know, he, he's been, you know, given a tender. And so, you know, it, it's past his year, you know, he would have already, he, he's already played through his rookie contract, if you will. So I'm a big fan of, you know, bringing him back, especially this cheap, um, I'm a little bummed for him because I do think that, you know, that has to been a little bit of a, that has to have been a little bit of a gut punch, um, seeing what Traven Howard has done and obviously hasn't gotten a huge opportunity, but he really came on strong with the Rams last year, I thought, and he's shown, you know, bits and pieces of brilliance, especially in coverage. So to see this guy go through waivers, not be wanted by anybody in the league, that was kind of a bummer. Um, selfishly, you know, you want him back as a Ram, but unselfishly this is a business and you know uh, we interview so many players here on this channel so I, I obviously have a little bit of a you know a little bias to the player and obviously I want them to get their you know their recognition and get paid and so you know in that aspect I was a little bummed that Trayvon Howard didn't get picked up I felt like he could have probably started in you know I'd say probably 10 teams in this league out of 32 I think he's a starting linebacker maybe even more um, but I was a little surprised that he was able to make it back to the Rams here, uh, especially with just everybody, you know, having the target on the Rams back, placing that target there. You know, you had uh, Darius Williams go to the Jacksonville Jaguars, got, you know, hefty pay there. You have Sebastian Joseph Day going to the Chargers. You know, you have other guys as well, Caracol going to the Texans. So normally when you win a Super Bowl, a lot of these guys, you know, their value goes through the roof. I guess I was just surprised to not see Trayvon Howard uh, have that, um, you know, that ability where, you know, he obviously just won a Super Bowl. He was, you know, a big reason why they were able to get there and uh, to not see him get picked up. I was just honestly shocked. But yeah, I mean, I think you look at this, the Rams, they're better today than they were yesterday going out and getting Trayvon Howard back. Um, you know, it was about a week. He had to wait, but and he did have a tweet that was obviously he, he felt like he could do more and he, you know, believed in himself and, you know, was a little taken aback, I think, by getting cut. But he is back now. And, you know, I do I, I don't think this changes anything for Jake Hummel. It might change something for Christian Roseboom and it might change something for Rust Yeast. I had made the uh, not the assumption, but kind of, you know, theorize the idea like, OK, now maybe Russ Yeast makes it. Maybe the Rams look at like Taylor Rapp when, you know, going through the roster, they list him at linebacker or something like that in their heads. So they can keep, you know, six or seven safeties when in reality they're not keeping six or six or seven safeties. But that's not going to be the case. So I think Russ Yeast is once again back on the hot seat. And I do think Christian Roseboom is on the hot seat. Like I've said, and I've been very clear about it, I understand Christian Roseboom has been on this team before. He's been around. I wouldn't rule out a practice squad stint, 
but I'm very high on Jake Hummel, the Iowa State linebacker. I'm very high on him, and I think this guy is going to be more than just a special teamer. I think there's a chance that he's going to have a significant role uh, on the defense after Bobby Wagner. Just think Ronnie McLeod and the way he filled in for the Rams in St. Louis, uh, becoming a starting safety out of Virginia, you know, UDFA. That's the vibe I get. Different position, but that's the vibe I get out of Jake Hummel. But in conclusion for this video, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Traven Howard is back with the Rams. Number 32 is going to be wearing horns. I don't expect him to get cut or anything like that again this year anyway. Um, we'll see if they extend him after this year. It's going to be a one-year deal, but uh, it's great to see him back. Again, the career stats aren't gaudy. 43 tackles, 6 pass breakups, and an interception. But it's important to keep in mind this guy really hasn't gotten the opportunity, and he's not really going to get the opportunity this year to be the, the starter that I think he is capable of being now that they got Bobby Wagner. But... That's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.